Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the Love and Romance Read for the week of September 9th, 2019. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you whom have been with me from the very beginning. Most importantly, to those of you whom have donated. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, so I'm going to start out with the Romance Angel deck. I'm only going to do a three-card spread because I need to get back to my personal readings. Let's take a look. One, two, and three. All right, so in the next couple of days from watching this video, we do have a strong, passionate connection, but we also have a Virgo who is releasing and healing uh, the past, recognizing what they learned about themselves in connection with and to a passionate situation or person. The advice here is to keep an open mind that divine timing is at work and that uh, real love is worth waiting for. Someone may start to um, be different than your expectations this week. We have um, playful energy here. So the advice Virgo, this week is to really just enjoy that playful energy and the connections you have with others in a playful way. For some of you may be thinking that someone is a romance of a lifetime, but the advice here is to love yourself first. Get to know someone for a period of time so that bond can deepen, so that you can build some memories, so that you can start to plan for the future. Some of you may be thinking about someone in connection with and to a group of people and spirit saying pay attention to the red flags if you are contemplating some form of reconciliation it's okay to express your love and make romantic gestures and kind connections but trust and have faith in spirit through your prayers your affirmations and visualizations that when um, a soulmate comes it is a gift from the universe it's safe to Share, uh, it's safe for you to love, to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. So maybe hoping for a past connection. And again, are waiting for more clarity. Is this the one or have I already met the one in my past? Spirit saying in and with and amongst all of this passionate energy you have this week, Virgo. Let go of trying to control who is or isn't the one. Let spirit uh, guide you in the path of commitment, partnership, and etc. There could be a Virgo who is wanting to come into commitment or partnership, or they recognize that someone is already in one, therefore. They don't like the energies of deception being involved here. We also have a Virgo who may be fearing that this other person is deceptive and spirit is spirit's advice is to make the effort to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about your plans for the connection together and your future. And spirit saying you deserve real love. So heal and release those who aren't giving 100%. As you meet people along the way, by the weekend, as you remain optimistic about your love life, enjoy the romantic connections with others. Enjoy the playfulness, the patience, and the kindness. For you are going to be very attractive to others, Virgo, this week. If you enjoy the little things, you just need to free your mind from any negativity. Flirt and have a good time. For some of you, you may be attracting an opportunity for a financial opportunity. I, I do see that here. Maybe there's a romantic connection in the direction of finances and career. But then we have a separation. Wanting to free yourself, wanting to separate, needing to be more optimistic. Being too codependent in some way, whichever Virgo this is, which is odd. By the weekend codependent on a situation whereby there is unrequited love and the advice here is to release your ex so i feel a lot of different things here 
I'm going to, yeah, the big message is to clear your energy from anyone that is negative. Maybe someone who's already in a commitment or partnership or a strong desire to come into commitment or partnership. If somebody isn't giving 100% back to you this week, stop and decide, should I release this person and move on to the next if you're single? So to clarify, I'm bringing in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed And in the center of the circle spread, we have honesty. So Spirit's saying in the next couple few days, write down what it is you need to be honest with when it comes to yourself. Are you honestly putting your energy into your own personal goals and intentions? What are the visions you are creating for yourself? What is your purpose that you were meant to be remembered for here on earth? For that is the, the, those thoughts, those plans, those hobbies, gifts, talents, skills are what will ground you. Because in the relationship sector, there is a Virgo this week that's recognizing that uh, a situation, a connection is complicated. And that's why they need to kind of put their focus back into what they're creating and be more honest with themselves. Because as they are creating, they're going to have some time to recognize the energies of the cycle card. So this is about repeating old, unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles over and over again that keep bringing you back to the same unfulfilled result, Virgo. So now it's time to be honest about what it is that is complicating your life and to instead focus on your visions, your goals and intentions. Take action to educate yourself with the fledgling energies this week. Know that the High Priestess of Spirit is going to help to bring you to the truth of the situation regarding your thoughts, your goals, your intentions. As you are honest with yourself and recognize unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles, whereby the relationship sector becomes complicated. Subconsciously, you may be very focused on what is the most fulfilling path ahead. And it may be, indeed, a time to decide on a path for some. So Spirit's giving me the strength of honesty to figure out what it is that is complicated in the relationship sector of the circle spread. Day to day, you have the High Priestess of Earth, whichever Virgo's energy I am feeling during this reading, to um, set new goals and intentions, new visions, pray to Spirit for new ideas that you can plan for yourself for the next year because this process is going to help for you to be honest with yourself about unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles in yourself, another, or in and with the connection together. In your inner strengths position, we do have a Virgo who has the strength to focus again on <clears throat> security and stability, happiness, and joy. Some may be thinking of another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, whereby subconsciously you think and believe that this connection, this person is going to lead you into a path of greater uh, fulfillment. But spirit saying, be honest with yourself about why a situation is complicated. Complicated. Don't forget, you've been here and done this. You are in the space by which you were meant to reside. So get clear about your boundaries and enjoy the playful energy this week with, and make sure people understand where your boundaries are. By the weekend, you're going to have the strength to understand some form of spiritual download. If you can meditate by writing, drawing, painting, doing photography, pottery, poetry, or whatever, the High Priestess of Water is going to help you in the area of your emotions. Some of you will feel strong enough by the end of the weekend to take an oath about this doorway you want very badly to go into and through, but that which is blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you. Do you really want this attractive connection that doesn't see things from the same perspective? Ask the difficult questions and listen closely, not to the words you're being fed, but to their actions. Because this focus and this listening will bring this Virgo out of some form of denial, some form of truth. Wanting to reconnect, to come into commitment or partnership in and with a situation involving children or a person in the past. Wow. So I'm going to bring in one card to close with from the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. If these messages have resonated for you, and thank you to those of you who have let me know that they do. That helps me a lot. 
Um, if these messages resonate and you'd like more information, feel free to email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will work e in the box below and i am still offering the summer special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars. if you'd like to give it a try all right so yeah it's time to give birth to a new idea hobby gift talent skills something that brings you joy day to day and to know that it is guarded vigilantly by the angel spirit spirit guides whatever uh, it's time to free yourself from that which is negative, anything negative, thoughts, feelings, emotions, people, places, circumstances, situations, and environments. It's now time to focus on what inspires you so that you can share what inspires you with others. You are now going beyond the realization of something within yourself. It's like a spiritual transformation, an aha moment this week where you're going to go beyond what you used to know. And now you're starting to see the true you. Now, as you become more confident in yourself this week, Virgo, you're going to have the power of attraction. And it's going to give you the strength to free yourself from an old dark wound and to now let love life, love live in your life once again. So for some, it is time to figure out your soul purpose. What is it you were sent here to do and to be remembered for? So to close, the card means. There is a fresh new life emerging. Stay true to your creative power. A new life is emerging like a vibrant green shoot rising up from the earth. This new life is in need of your attention and your care. This could be a new relationship that needs tending with interest and kindness. It could be a new idea that you need to nurture into fullness because it's going to hold a special purpose for your life path. It might be something within you, a new behavior, a new way of looking at yourself, or a new way of being in the world that you need to tend to until it becomes more natural for you to embody. Let me know what that turns into. Let me know if you need help with any ideas. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you so very much to those of you who have donated and subscribed. Take care and God bless.